Hello everybody, welcome to Bunky's Workshop. I am Bunky and as you can see we are outside at the pool, we're on the deck and there's something I wanted to bring to you that I thought some of you out there that have a pool or spa might be interested in. So we have been using all kinds of stuff in our pool to keep it sanitized, of course, the, um, the tablets, three inch tablets um, and liquid chlorine and we've used the leapfrog system and we've also used the inline chlorinator and they all work well but for some reason each and every one of them had a drawback now if you're using the three inch tablets um they do work and they are very easy to use to put in a float or in a coordinator and they work well it is the easiest thing on the market to use the downside is um, it does have a stabilizer in it um, I think it's called cyanuric acid, I believe. We can double check that. But as that builds up in your pool, um, after a while, you know, you have to either drain your pool or, you know, they do make a chemical now that you can put in that kind of helps eliminate some of that uh, stabilizer. But uh, at the end of the day, it does create a problem because the more the tablet you put in, the more the st stabilizer you're putting in, and it does become a problem. Uh, so that's why in the beginning I was using the, the frog leap system because it was able to keep your pool chlorine levels down. You didn't have to use as much chlorine, um, which means not a lot of stabilizer, and you were using more of a mineral stay or a mineral. Uh, what would you call that? <sighs> Sanitizer. There we go. That was hard to pull out of my little brain. Uh, so I put that aside. I went for the uh, the three inch uh, tablet inline coronator. And I thought, wow, this really works because you don't have to deal with it as often. You just fill it up, set whatever setting you want it to be, and you forget it. In the beginning, that worked really well. Uh, I wasn't having any problems you know we keep our pump running 24 7 on low speed which you know was keeping the water moving was filtering the water it was also putting in the chlorine for us everything was perfect however again with the three inch uh, stabilized tablets you're putting in your stabilizer and as a stabilizer builds up in your pool then it kind of knocks out the, the chlorine level and it, you know I was having problems with yellow algae and just I was just having issues so I was watching a video online with this pool professional if I can find it again because I've been following him for a little while I'll try to put a link with it down below um, he owns his own company and he's really good he, he really helps educate uh, people um, with your pools with you know chemicals and back flushing your filters and different kinds of filters you know he's really good and he's been very helpful for me so I just asked him, I said, in your opinion, what is the best stabilizer that you recommend? And he said, straight up liquid chlorine is the best way to go. Yes, there's more hassle because you got to check it and you got to add it. But once you put the chlorine in, that's it. You're not adding a lot of stabilizers and da, 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 da. But then he told me about the Pool RX because I told him how much I loved the Pool Leap system. But it was very expensive to keep buying the torpedo packs and the mineral packs and it was and also I didn't like the idea that uh, that was a lot of plastic I was throwing away uh, every month with you know because you had to buy them they're pre-packaged for you and it's in plastic and I'm like there's got to be a better way of doing this you know so he recommended to stick with liquid chlorine and then the pool RX so um, I will show a picture of that what it looks like on here And then I'm also going to take you over to my pool filtering system and I'll show you how it's in my filter. But anyways, it's called Pool RX. It is a six month treatment that stays in your filter. It's an algicide, okay? And you buy the drop-in basket for how many gallons your pool is, okay? So like the pool behind me, our pool is almost 30,000 gallons. So you'd pull up 
um, on there and pick the one that fits your pool, okay? It's not one does all. You pick the one that meets what you have, okay? And the one that is for 30,000 gallons or up to 30,000 gallons is black or black and white. The one I have is in black. So anyways, the one I'm talking about uh, is from 20 to 30,000 gallons, okay? And I think the lowest one is 7,000 gallons. And then it goes all the way up to the 30,000 gallons, okay? I found this one on Amazon. Uh, I know Amazon sells it, Walmart, sometimes eBay. But look around, see if you can find a good price. I paid $85 on Amazon uh, for free shipping. Now remember, I bought this back in the beginning of May. Prices may have changed by now. I know I've seen it up to $100 uh, per unit. Anyways, and I'll let you know, we opened our pool um, the beginning of May. Um, and today is, I believe today is Saturday the 20 something. I guess I would have looked that one up too. But anyways, it's been well over a month because uh, this is the end of June. We're going into July. So almost two months the pool has been open and I've been using this system and I've been checking my pool water every third day. I'm quite amazed. Um, I've been adding a gallon of chlorine, straight liquid chlorine at night when it's dark to the pool once or twice a week. And I keep checking the pool water and it's holding. The water is crystal, I can't speak, crystal clear. Um, it's just amazing so far. So I'm really hoping that this is a, uh, ooh, sun, sun right my ball. I'm really hoping that uh, this works and I don't have to deal with draining the pool halfway and filling it back up and all that other crap. Um, I think it's gonna work because when I had the pool leap system, that worked really well because that's a mineral pack as well. And the only downside was you had to keep filling and buying from them. Now I put out a video, if you still have that system and you like it, go for it. Um, the only complaint that I had again was you had to buy the pre-packaged units to fit, right? They were like cartridges. And I did put out a video on how you can open up that cartridge and refill them and reuse them. And that was saving me a little bit of money. Um, and it was also, my main thing was, you know, I wasn't uh, throwing all that plastic into the trash. I was reusing them. But um, the downside for me again was that you had to, they were using the um, stabilized chlorine. And then of course, after a while you build up with the stabilizer and you're right back where you started. At least with using the liquid chlorine and the pool RX, you no longer put in stabilizer, except I do put one three inch stabilized chlorine tablet in a float and it floats around the pool. I don't know if you can see it in there or not, can you? Yes, it's back there. If you can see it, way, if you can see it, let's see, right there. See it, it's floating around. So there's one tablet in there. When that dissolves, I put another, but so far the one I put in there is still in there. It's about three quarters gone. So that does add a little bit of stabilizer to the pool, but it's very, very little. And it's just enough, you know, to keep things rolling. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna repeat this information to make sure that you got it and that I didn't forget anything. And then I'm gonna take you over to the filter and show you um, what the pool, R pool RX looks like and how it's in the uh, system. Again, this is a Pool RX six month treatment algicide. The one that I have is black and it's for a 20 up to 30,000 gallon pool. I found it on Amazon for $85 back in the beginning of May. And that's when we opened the, uh, the pool. So the next time I see you here in a couple seconds, we'll be over at the filter. Talk to you soon. Okay, so here we are at the uh, pool here, at the uh, filter system. And right now the system is running on low speed and I'm gonna shut it down and close everything off and I'm gonna show you the Pool RX. Again, this is in the filter basket of the uh, system, okay? So let me shut this down. 
turn the water off and open this up. There we go. Here's my basket. Inside the basket is the Pool RX. It's black and plastic with minerals inside. You just drop it into the basket, put it in here, and you close this off. That's all you gotta do. And then you turn it back on. And we are up and running. This is the uh, filter system uh, running on high. And this is on low. There you go. This is a cartridge system. I guess you can kind of see right there is our filter. But that's how easy it is. Pool RX. So far, so good. My chlorine levels have been good. The pool is crystal clear. I can't complain. Let me turn this camera around for you and let me show you the pool. So there you go is the pool. It is sparkling blue, crystal clear. Now, if you watch the video on the Dolphin E10, a robotic pool cleaner, that thing is awesome. I've used it three times. I'm gonna continue using it and I will bring you back for the review on there. Let's see if we can take a look down into the water. <laughs> but it's absolutely beautiful. And here's the filter system. Okay, thanks for coming along. I'll be talking to you soon. Have everybody out there is doing well. Again, this is Bunky of Bunky's Workshop. Thank you, and I'll be talking to you soon.